the goal of our department is to produce graduates that affect positive change in the world through our hands-on production systems and through innovative research. So we really love to have our students get their hands dirty from day one. We have um, about 100 horses on campus and they full out those bears. And we have a swine unit where we have 60 sows and the students are back actively involved in farrowing out those, those sows. We have uh, a cattle, uh, beef cattle herd, we have a dairy, we milk about 250 cows and the students do all the milking, all the feeding, all the doctoring, all of that. We have one of the few campuses that has a veterinary clinic on campus and we uh, use students to run that clinic and the veterinarians take students with them to treat all of the animals on campus. We have, uh, we have 10,000 animals on campus at any one time. Specifically in the beef program, we have thousands of acre, uh, acres of rangeland uh, where we run beef cattle, but also sheep and goats. Um, and, and all of those facilities have um, a number of different technologies available. We're tr trying to use, utilize technology um, more and more to help make better uh, production and management decisions across all animal species, and I think that's pretty consistent. These grasslands and brushlands, they're really economically important because with livestock, you know, cattle and sheep and goats, they can eat this material and they can convert that material into meat and into wool, into fibers products, into milk. So I do a lot of database programming. I use satellite imaging. We're working with aerospace engineering. We're using a lot of drones now. They're taking laser scans and, and, and digital photos of, of the landscapes. A person with a wide variety of interests or different sorts of students can lot, find lots of stuff that's really kind of appealing about the job. Cal Poly San Luis Obispo, even among the CSU campuses, we have all these animal units and it is like a living laboratory. So instead of dissecting a heart, we are doing electrocardiograms on beating hearts and the students are doing echocardiography, they're ultrasounding beating hearts. So that's just one example. When we come to uh, the urinary tract, for example, instead of just simply doing a urinalysis, we will actually use video endoscopy. Students will drive the equipment into the bladder and we will actually do diagnostic workups of the urinary tract. That's, so that's one way that we use our animal units in very, very practical practical hands-on labs. Cal Poly Meat Processing Center um, is completely employed by our students. In addition to our student workforce, we have our Cal Poly students that are enrolled in classes, whether it be enterprises or labs. And throughout that process or their time here, they're able to see everything within the process, whether it's being on the harvest floor, fabricating or breaking down those carcasses into the retail cuts that we see on our dinner plates at home to further processing to make sausage, formulate their own sausage. And then we have smoking or cured meats uh, where we can cook and then taste those products and then we package and then market it to sell it to the community. For me, what resonated most is I've gotten to work a lot with the horses here on campus from starting the young horses to riding our most experienced horses and I'm a part of the equestrian team so I get to be really hands-on up there at the unit. I would definitely encourage students of all majors to take these enterprise classes because this is exactly where you're going to feel learn by doing at its core. We're, we're using all the machineries to make the sausage. Uh, we also do the cooking, the eating of course, that's very important, but um, definitely gave me a more, a greater appreciation for all the cuisine that might be out there that I don't know of, that might be just so delicious. <laughs>